But back to basics today, because I'm going to explain exactly what an FPV drone is. Why do you need one? What can it do? How much does it cost? How high can it go? How far can it go? And is this the right drone for spying on your neighbours? I'm going to answer all of that today, so let's just get straight into it. FPV stands for first person view. And that is the unique thing about these drones, is that you get a live view through this little camera via this antenna to this antenna. So you're flying along using the remote control and when the drone flies off and turns around you still get the live image basically like you're piloting the thing and it gives you the sensation of being on board and also means that you can put this thing in some incredible places that no other drone could really go. So if you want to fly through a little gap, if you want to fly down a mountainside at high speed, if you want to go 100 miles an hour, this drone can do all of that. And this exact drone, I've got actually a full explanation of all my gear in uh, a different video, so I'll put a link to that down in the description, and you can see exactly the gear that I'm flying. You can get very small FPV drones, often called a tiny whoop. You can get what you call a cine whoop, and the cine whoop is one of these, but specifically designed for a certain kind of cinematic shot. It's an incredible drone, and I've got a whole video explaining exactly what a cine whoop is. So definitely check that out. I'll put a link down to that in the description as well. But the standard kind of FPV drone that most people fly, the sort of jack of all trades, the one that's most capable is the five inch FPV drone. And this has a great combination of power and uh, controllability, really. It's not affected too much by the wind. You can use one of these to you know, dive down a mountainside or just to kind of uh, do some freestyle flying around an abandoned building and all kinds of incredible things. It's so much fun. How much does it cost? It basically depends what gear you get. Now it's much cheaper than it used to be and you can get decent quality gear for about 500 quid all in and you're completely set. If you're willing to go up to about a thousand pounds, you could get all the top of the range stuff. And if you really want to do it on a budget, you could get into it for just one or two hundred pounds. You could definitely get a small, tiny drone and at least make a start flying around uh, your house or whatever to practice and just have some fun and then build up from there. Things like your radio and your goggles, they'll stay with you throughout the hobby. So again, if you want to see all the gear that I'm using, uh, I've got a separate video about that. So how high can it go? The answer is it can go as high as it can far. And like I mentioned earlier, these things can fly down mountainsides. So it can go a few kilometers if you really want it to. And some people who build special drones that have uh, the right antenna mount and the right battery can actually take these things really long range and go sort of up to perhaps five kilometers, maybe even further. I'm not, uh, I haven't got a long range drone, so those numbers might not be exact, but the answer is they can go really far if you really want them to. Uh, generally, people don't. They just stay within a few hundred meters of themselves, have fun with your mates, flying these things around, chasing each other's drones, going to uh, cool locations like abandoned buildings or, you know, just a lovely place like this, fly down the river, through some gaps, wherever your imagination takes you, basically. So the fun you can have with these is absolutely amazing. And I was joking really when I said, is it the right drone to spy on your neighbors? But it is something that all these dog walkers and people who just sort of come across this, it's one of the first things that occur to them. And are we gonna use these to spy? The answer is absolutely not. They're very loud, they're very fast, they're difficult to control. It's not the type of drone that you'd want to stealthily hover outside your neighbor's window. Um, why on earth would we want to do that anyway? I do not know, but for some reason that question always seems to occur to people. It is a brilliant drone for just having fun, flying freestyle. It can be crashed, it can be battered, you can get incredible footage off it. And this is really good if you want to get some cinematic footage as well. Depending on the kind of cinematic footage you want, definitely look into cine whoops as well. Um, again, link in the description down below. So I think that kind of answers a lot of the questions. The other thing that these are capable of is you have full manual control. And the amazing thing about that is you can put it through a little gap. There's no sensors that stop it going anywhere, no GPS, um, no sort of return to home feature. 
you want it's very difficult to learn on these things but you know with a bit of practice and going on the simulators and just getting out there you can do incredible things with these so we're going to get on the stick cam and i'm going to give you a demonstration of all the kind of flying that you can do with one of these um, and then at the end i'll link to some other channels that have really useful information about how much these are which is the right drone for you you know how to build one and all kinds of other useful information so i'll put that at the end but for now let's get on the stick cam and have a demonstration but here we go you can get an idea of the sort of beautiful cinematic look we can get with these things let's fly back over to where we are so here we go here's me That's me flying. So, you know, you can hover these things and we can hit little tiny gaps because I've got full manual control. So if I want to, I can go through here, no problem. Turn around, go back through. You know, you can get that slow, nice, controlled flying, but you can also punch up really fast and just cruise over a tree, you know. I think we scared a couple of birds off. Um, but yeah, and then uh, if you know if we want to, we can go really fast. So you know, I can give it some. We'll get probably get about 60, 70 miles an hour right now. Here we are, back over the river. But uh, again, dog walker there, so we'll stay away from them. You can actually hear a dog walker just nearby as well. So the weird thing is, of course, people don't know that I can't see them. <laughs> so I've got these goggles on. They tend to think it's some kind of weird VR thing. Of course, it's not virtual reality, it's actual reality. So yeah, it does look a little bit weird, a guy standing talking to himself near the river. But, you know, we'll get over it. So here we go, let's hit some little gaps. That's a nice one right there. And do a nice power loop. I call that a power loop, it's basically a loop the loop. Um, and we'll try, try a few freestyle tricks. So be prepared to get nauseous if you're not used to watching this. Uh, because you know we can do loop the loops uh, and we can do crazy tricks like fast rolls and flips it's very capable of being able to do all those things one of my favorites is uh, a split s which is this or uh, a juicy flick which is that let's go back over and fly Ooh, losing a little bit of video signal there. Now you won't see that because you'll be watching the HD, but through the goggles in the live feed, you do get some static sometimes. Now the thing I never mentioned actually in the uh, video is when I was describing gear, now you can get HD video goggles. So DJI have recently released those and they look absolutely incredible. I'm fully intending on upgrading to those uh, when I can. So. Um, Yes, if you're new to the hobby, definitely go with the DJI uh, HD system because it looks absolutely beautiful. It give you that real feeling of uh, being on board. I do enjoy a nice drone shadow. Look at that, let's chase the shadow. Woo, and then do a little juicy flick over there. So there you go, you know, and I could go a lot further and, you know, we could get a lot more ambitious, uh, but we're keeping it pretty simple for today because I'm just down here on my own uh, so you know we've been very sensible and uh, just cruising about in a nice safe spot so I clipped a tree there but you know it's no big deal the other thing about these things is you can crash them they're absolutely made to be able to take a bit of a beating made out of carbon fiber and when you know how to build them right you know you learn where it breaks and you uh, build it appropriately so yeah here's one of my favorite tricks which I call the magic flip actually that wasn't a perfect one but let's have another go Ooh, a bit rusty on those anyway we've got a tutorial for those in a, a different video if you're interested quite an advanced trick though so there you go that gives you an idea of what these things are capable of and how long do, can i keep stay in the air that's a question that a lot of people uh, want to know how long can you fly for well because these things are so fast you know i can go 100 miles an hour if i want to 
uh, they don't stay in the air for that long. You actually just get a few minutes flight time, you know, between two and five minutes, depending on how fast you fly. But the answer to that is you just have loads of batteries. So often after a few minutes, you know, you've, you've kind of got the adrenaline going on the way and you've, you've got the footage you want. So all you do is just bring it in, swap the battery and go again. So yeah, this battery is about done now. Gives you an idea of uh, what you can get out of the battery. We'll just bring it into land over here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And as I mentioned earlier, some resources to look for uh, in this hobby is Joshua Bardwell. Definitely see Josh Bardwell's channel. It's absolutely amazing and it's a massive help to anybody getting into this hobby, learning about it and building these things, finding out which ones are the right ones. Uh, also UAV Futures is a great channel and if you want to see some just what these things can do, some incredible drone flying. I'll put a couple of links to my own videos but also uh, some of the best pilots who I think have just created such beautiful cinematic footage with these things. People like Air Blaster, Sam Kohler and Johnny FPV. So have a look at those. I hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, put them down in the comments. Give us a quick thumbs up before you go. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe for more content. See you next time.